mother speaking out tonight after waiting days for police to make an arrest in her son's hit and run murder case. News specialist Nicole Val has more from Jeremy Hardman's mother. Hardman's mother is breathing a sigh of relief tonight, knowing that the man police say killed her son right here is behind bars. Some people here in the community are calling Hardman an animal hero. Just take a look at this note here. It says Jeremy Hardman died trying to save man's best friend. Everybody was thought of him as uh, their best friend. If you knew somebody that knew Jeremy, they'd always say, yeah, that's my best friend. By phone, Judy Crocker, Jeremy Hardman's mother, says her son loved everything that was living. From the time he was a little boy, he was an animal lover. Growing up, we, uh, we always had a menagerie of pets in the house. Police say an argument over a dog is what prompted 40-year-old Aaron Hoseman to make a U-turn in his car here on this West Valley City Street corner and hit Hardman while he was in the crosswalk. Hoseman then fled from police, ditching his car. Saturday night, police caught up with him and took him to jail. As if he would senselessly beat a dog and then turn around and murder another person for calling him out on it. Uh, there was no say it's no saying where he would have gone from there. Hardman's mother heartbroken over the loss of her son, but relieved that Hoseman will now face justice. I am so glad that this man is off the, the streets. I was terrified after the first two days went by that they weren't going to catch him. And it haunted me at night. He murdered my baby. And I'm so glad now that he will not have the chance to hurt anybody else. The Humane Society of Utah is planning to honor Hardman as a hero. During his funeral services, they plan to line the streets with pet lovers and pet owners as a tribute. Hoseman is in jail under investigation for murder and obstruction of justice. Formal charges are expected to be filed very soon. In West Valley, Nicole Vowell, KSL 5 News.